On the 10th of April 2024, the Nollywood industry and Nigeria as a whole mourned the loss of John Paul Obumneme Odumodu, popularly known as Junior Pope, as he met his demise that was triggered by a boat accident which occurred at Anam River, Anambra State. The 40 years old Nollywood actor who hails from Enugu State was confirmed dead when he was taken to the hospital after the ceremonial delay. This has spoken many concerned citizens of Nigeria, everyone talking about how avoidable his death was. Follow us as we go on the streets to get the reactions of some concerned persons. Good day. Yeah, good Please, day. may we know your name? Okay, um, I go by the name Ezomi Fewon. So tell us how you feel about the death of the Nollywood, the popular Nollywood actor, um, Junior Pope, that took place yesterday. Okay? It was very disheartening. Yes, so, and the most touching part of it was the fact that he made a video. Yeah. Yes, yeah. saying that I have three kids, so an amigo trained them all. You know, it was really touching. Yes. Yes, knowing that this guy knows his full responsibility, and it had to happen that way, and that just had to brace him up. That way. Yesterday's event was really sad because nobody wants their family member or someone close to them to die young. But I'd say the preventive measure would have been a life jacket, at least. That would have been the first. Um, First thing to do that would have at least would have helped to some extent, and that's basically just it. Yeah, he has been blamed for okay. not applying these safety measures, yes. like putting on the um, life jackets uh, and yes. all that. So it was said that uh, the producer of the movie they were act, they were you know they were shooting okay. was supposed to make all those things available. In as much as the producer failed in that aspect, okay. how about the crew members, the people that boarded that boat? They were adults. They're supposed to spot out this deficiency and say, like, ah, you, ladies, you, you should provide this, this, make them available for us. Okay. So it was a careless death, okay? In as much as it was a careless death, I still believe in what will happen will happen. Okay. I still don't find it because the whole issue, like, it came like a flash, okay. like a dream, like, because how can a prominent actor like that just go inside the river without a life jacket like it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be done that way like i'm still in shock about the whole incident they should have um they should have um, programs okay, okay where uh, the the members of nollywood if any one of them falls sick there should be programs where you know because we, we see it always when they fall sick you see them begging for arms and other people should you know, contribute money for them. I don't think Hollywood has, it, 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 it's not a, a small, it's small industry, industry, to be honest. Yes. So they should have all these programs where their members will benefit, maybe uh, health-wise, in terms of having medical, uh, medical uh, uh, services rendered to them where they don't have to start asking people to contrib contribute money for them. I think they are up to the task. And government should come uh, to their aid also. They should make funds available where if any of their members fall sick, okay, they should be able to go and get treatment at a subsidized rate, you know, uh, not spending so much okay. as the case may be. Don't take a fly boat or don't enter a ride, a ferry, any which way, do not enter without a life jacket. I feel that there's a reason for that life jacket. And for like movies and all of that, there should be like a first aid or medical team on ground for stuff like that. So, and if at least we'll use this one to learn a lesson. It's really sad. My condolences to the family.